Hello and welcome back, or if this is your first time tuning in, then welcome to 60 Second Tech, where I teach you tips and tricks on how to enhance your digital literacy in only 60 seconds or less. My name is Dalton, your friendly neighborhood librarian from the Paul Sawyer Public Library. In today's episode, we are going to talk about three unique file types that you should know, especially when navigating the web or even your computer. File types are, are typically those three letter combinations that you have to choose in order to download an attachment of some sort. Now, you may not understand what these three letters mean, what they stand for, or kind of what differentiates them between all the others. So again, today we are going to focus on three, and if this sounds like something that could benefit you, then let's start the clock and get started. JPG, or Joint Photographic Expert Group, is a file type often associated with images and, in fact, is the world's most common file type among data technology. The purpose of the JPEG is to compress the file so it can easily be shared between networks without losing quality. At some point, you'll come across a PDF. This stands for Portable Document Format and, much like its title, is a file that makes sharing and presenting your documents much easier, regardless of the software on the receiving end. Be aware, though, that PDFs cannot be edited, but some users can overlay text or signatures on top of the original document. You may be familiar with the file type mp3 and wondering why it now has a 4 in front of it. Rest assured, mp3s are still used today. The difference being, an mp4 or moving picture experts group is an audiovisual file type that supports both sound and video. The difference being, mp3s only support audio, hence the name mp3 player. I greatly appreciate your time in wanting to enhance your digital literacy alongside technology. As always, my name is Dalton, and until next time, I'll see you later.